In this video, we will be demonstrating how you can use the Researcher Profile module on the VRE to record your public and community engagement activities, and how doing so will enable you to track the impact you might generate from these activities. To access the VRE, please type research.westminster.ac.uk into your web browser. On the page that appears, you will be asked to enter your username and password. Doing so will take you to a landing page where, on the right hand side, you will find the My Record tab. Clicking this tab will take you to a further page where, on the right hand side again, you will see a web profile section. Click on the Edit Your Researcher Profile tab to access your researcher profile. The Researcher Profile module contains 10 sections, 8 of which are directly editable. In this video, we are focusing on the Public and Community Engagement section, which you can find here as the 8th tab. This section is divided into two areas of public and community engagement. The first part encompasses public-facing events or activities. The second part encompasses press and media engagements. Each of these parts has both an open section with information that can be made publicly viewable and a closed section with information intended for internal use only. Regarding event or activity, here you can record an entry relating to your engagement with the public, government or industry. Please note that presentations at academic oriented events or conferences are not added here, but instead feature in a different section of the researcher profile module that's focused on scholarly activities. They should also be recorded in the VRE research repository as an output. For each entry of an event or activity related to public and community engagement, please provide a name and selector type. As you can see, the list encompasses a range of options, such as exhibitions, screenings, and workshops, but that there is also an other option which you can clarify within a free text box. Other types of engagements may relate to, for instance, providing expert advice to an external stakeholder or writing a policy submission to a government consultation. If you need to keep any engagements confidential, please input an ambiguous name for the activity that is suitable to the level of confidentiality required. For instance, the title could be Expert Advice to Stakeholder Regarding Climate Change, which avoids naming the relevant person or organisation in what will constitute the publicly viewable part of the public and community engagement section. Please provide the date range for the activity and keep the second date blank if it occurred on a single day or if the activity is ongoing. You can also provide a URL that links to information about the event or activity if one is available including HTTPS at the beginning. You can further link a research output that is relevant to this engagement activity. As you can see, typing into the yellow box will bring up pre-stored outputs. The data collection part of the event or activity subsection is closed, meaning it will not be visible to the public. This section is for internal use and is important both for institutional reporting and impact tracking. Please record the number and nature of your attendees, along with additional information here, so we can determine the broader institutional activity, for instance REFCEF or HEBSI, that your engagement work may align with. In this closed section, please also upload and store files important for recording and tracking the impact of your activity. For instance, please upload your scanned or screenshot participant feedback surveys here, Correspondence from hosts, collaborators or attendees that may provide context or indications of the impact of your activity. The activity materials that were used, such as your PowerPoint or handouts. Media, such as an audio or video recording of the event. Or testimony from the key external stakeholders. Please also write notes on the collected data and the activity. This can include context, such as your aims for the event. For instance, what benefit you intended to create for your stakeholders or whether you aim to build capacity here for a future impact or whether this event built on a previous activity. You could also record here the names and contact details of key contacts made through this event, which media outlets covered the event for cross-referencing with the press media subsection below.
challenges faced or how you intend to proceed and build on this event. Such information will be useful for building an impact narrative related to this activity and your engagement activities more widely. Moving on to the press media section, here you can record a range of press media pieces that feature yourself or your research. In the open or public facing part of this section, please provide the title of the piece and the outlet or publication name. The type of media should also be entered and is understood as follows. Media appearance relates to coverage in which you discuss your research or which covers an event or activity you took part in. Media article refers to a piece in a non-academic publication that you have authored yourself. Expert comment relates to pieces that feature your expert commentary on a matter. And other is to be used for anything not covered by the above. For instance, a media piece that discusses your work but that you were not directly involved in the writing or creation of. Please include the full URL for the media piece as well as its date of publication. The related materials part of the subsection is closed and so won't be accessible or visible to the public. You can upload and store files here useful for recording potential impact from the engagement. This may include, for instance, screenshots of analytics where available covering the number of reads, views or listens. You can update this across time if you come to be aware of ongoing interest in the piece. Screenshots or a document collating comments or responses from the audience of the piece that indicate impact or strong engagement with the piece by the audience. Or correspondence with the journalist or producer that may provide context or indications of the impact of your activity. The notes part, which is also closed, can be used, for instance, to record the contact details of the journalist or producer that contacted you, which may be useful for developing further relationships. For example, pitching new research findings that may be of interest to them, or for follow-up for an impact testimony if you had a significant role in aiding their practice. Here you can also provide URLs to other articles that responded to the one you were involved in, and it's worth storing PDFs of these also. And you can also include general context on how the piece related to your research. For example, if it connects to a specific output, please do mention it here. Remember to press Save Profile after creating your entry. On the main Researcher Profile page, you will be able to view your entry and download any files you may have uploaded to it. As mentioned, this public and community engagement section is particularly important for impact tracking and institutional reporting. We would appreciate it if you could include entries on such activities going back to at least August 2020. If you need further guidance on this part of the VRE or any others, please check out the guide page that appears on the left of the screen once you have logged in. Here you can find the full guide to using and updating your researcher profile. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.